Tell the world about this new tattoo we've got on right now. Oh yeah, uh, it's just like a Samoan tribal tattoo. I've been wanting to get one for a while now. Uh, timing finally worked out, so got in about February. Had it since then, so yeah. And you picked out only two uh, elements of the design, and then it was yeah. So out. I picked this one out. Uh, the flower, it's that represents my parents. And then these three diamonds right or spears right here are my three sisters. Then those three are my two brother-in-laws and my best friend Justin back home. So. How long did it take? Uh, 11 hours. <laughs> I, did, I believe it was eight Friday night and three Saturday morning. Did it hurt at all? Yeah, when it, the elbow is the worst part. But when you're sitting there for eight hours, it starts to hurt at the end. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> How about this new offense? How it's different. We heard a lot of free snap movement. Mm -hmm. so yeah. More aggression downfield. Describe yeah, I think you know one of the biggest things is the free snap like motions and all of um, the shifts and stuff and what we're doing. Obviously, it helps us out. You know, tells us, gives us hints to what the defense could be doing. Um, and then yeah, you know we're more aggressive, a little downfield. Um, got some plays where we take some shots. Um, and he just wants us to be smart with the ball. You know, if the shot's not there when he calls it, you know, check it down. So, but yeah, there's definitely a lot more shots and uh, movement, free snap. How, how would you just describe Tim's, his coaching style, just kind of mm -hmm. how he operates on a daily basis? Yeah, you know, he's, he's pretty intense, uh, but it's a good intense, you know. He's very positive a lot of the time, um, but if you mess up, he'll, he won't be as positive. Mm -hmm. He'll yell at you mm -hmm. like any other coach, but uh, he definitely knows what he's talking about. It's clear he does, you know, he's always with the Packers. So, um, yeah, you, you can just tell he knows what he's talking about, all the information he's giving us, you know. He's explaining why we're doing these certain routes. You know, we'll get into different routes. We could run it in all different formations. Um, but yeah, his coach is so intense, but you know, you, you love him because you know he's really personable as well. Um, but yeah, you know, it's also three months in, so we're also figuring each other out. Um, but it's been really well, going really well soon. So, how much of an adjustment was it early on? Yeah, I think early on it was adjustment just because you know, one, the plays are a lot longer. Right. To, but you know we have the wristbands now, mm -hmm. um, and just like learning a whole new offense is always. I mean, I think this is like my third time, <laughs> time doing it. Um, but this is by far the hardest one I've had to learn. Mm -hmm. uh, just, but at some point it kind of just clicks about what's going on, why you're doing certain things, and so at some point it just kind of clicked. And obviously, still there's going to be mistakes, but um, it's definitely getting better um, and easier over time. So. A little bit, yeah. Just been trying to work with the weight staff, or the yeah, strength staff, uh, coaches, and all that stuff. So. Is that just kind of a natural process? Like, yeah, you know, you can't really like force it because um, you want to do it healthily. So just been trying to do that each and every week. I how's, think. how's that kind of manifested itself? Like, can you see you're, you're a little bit more mo mobile, things like that, when you're on the field? Yeah, a little bit. You know, it's kind of hard because I'm focusing on so much other stuff um, on the field. But yeah, there's a little bit. You know, you more see it on tape than so you feel it. When, is there an emphasis on playing more up tempo in this in this new look? Uh, yeah, a little bit. You know, we emphasize getting in and out of the huddle. Um, you know, but we also have like our two minute menu where you want to get in and get out of the plays. Uh, you know, we do have a little no huddle, uh, but you know, it's very sparse right now. We're still trying to implement everything. So, but I'm sure we'll you know once we get into camp and down the road, everything will you know we'll widen the playbook up a bunch. So. What's the most important part of this spring ball, you know, mm -hmm. session? Is it, I don't know, just kind of building an identity? I mean, obviously you got the new offense, but what would you say is the biggest uh, emphasis during this time of the, the calendar year? Yeah, I think it's just reps. Every day with the new plays and stuff, you're just trying to get a feel for everything. Um, and just, you know, the new plays, you know, the receivers are running new routes that we haven't ran before. You know, we're going through new footwork that we haven't done before. So it's all just trying to mesh that all together so you can eventually get a good play going. Um, but, yeah, I think reps is just the biggest thing. So you get, you know, day in and day out, just keep doing the same thing. I know John, he was the reason you came here. Mm -hmm. um, now he's obviously the wide receivers yeah. coach. How is I guess your relationship mm -hmm. changed with him being in that role now, or just what is it like working with yeah, him? Yeah, I think the weirdest thing is hearing him yell, but it's not at me. <laughs> um, but, you know, we're still as, as close as ever. Uh, I'll pop into his, you know, he's got a new office now. So I'll pop in and out of his office. We'll talk, chop it up. Um, but it's also nice having a quarterback brain in the wide receiver room. You know, he understands what we're trying to do, and he can make uh, help the receivers understand what we're all trying to do. So, you know, there's benefits to all of it. Um, but yeah, I don't think our relationship has changed much. You know, we still talk. Um, 
I actually had to take my car into where his wife took his or their car in, so I still talk to them plenty. Same car. <laughs> Same car. Yeah. Are you ever gonna give it up or? You... Oh, I'd love to keep it till I die. Yeah, everybody craps on it, but you know, gets me a point A to point B. It's got yeah. speakers and a radio. That's all I need. <laughs>